All right, time to go to Ibuki's party. Party. There's no, the motive hasn't been revealed yet, so we should be good, right? Should I start talking to people to see if we get any hints as to who's gonna do what? Like, we should be good, right? I don't think so. It's time to party. Nagito, Ibuki invited you too, right? Yep. I'm honored. But since everyone else is also going to be celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery, someone like me. no matter what, I think it's too rude for someone like me to go inside before or before everyone else arrives. <laughs> uh, you don't have to worry about me. You can go on inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. This too must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds Herouds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> How idealistic! It's nearly showtime! This guy, oh, who cares anymore? Oh, Fuyuhiko's here? Several people had already arrived at the mu music venue, but. Fuyuhiko, why are you. Huh? Is it bad I came? No, not that it is okay. No, not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took they took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. But... I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So. I'm not overdoing it. Sheesh. Fine then, just let him do whatever he wants. Huh? It's fine, just let him be. Apparently, Yakuza have pain tolerance to an art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't have come, no matter how much we invite him. He's probably trying his best to change. Hey. But it looks like Hyoko definitely didn't come. How pitiful. That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane is not here. What is with Akane? What is with her? Why is she not coming? Why? Why? Mm. What is that wild woman off doing? I hope she's not planning to do anything strange. We're done for. As if Anki, right when Nikomura expressed his unease, that's when it happened. Whoa! My. Suddenly, the stage lit up very brightly, and the person who appeared was. Hey, y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota. Thanks for coming out today. My specialty is making beef stew. What? <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better! I hope you're all pumped up! Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all. I can't imagine what else she'd do at the music venue. Alright! I'll start singing this first song with full-on energy! So, put your hands together for... From me to you too! Since she was originally a member of a high school girls band that dominated the music charts, I could probably look forward to her music musical stylings. Oh, it's in Japanese. Would that make anyone feel better? Maybe. I don't know. I guess I, guess I could skip it. Thank you, everyone! Ah! Oh my gosh. I need to take a pause. OK, 
Damn back, what the heck was that? Look at his face. I've never seen it like that before. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cursed! What? Such an overwhelming baleful resonance. Even my four dark divas of destruction look less lively than usual. Something like this. I am starting to feel chills. With a title like From Me to You, I thought it was gonna be a sweet love song. If I recall, the reason why Ibuki left the high school's girl band was um. creative differences. That must be why. <laughs> it's awesome. That's the first time I've heard such a famous song. Kyoko? I'm glad. Ah, uh, you can. <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But. But if you're attending Fujihiko's recovery party, that means you've already. Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I'd forgive him that easily. Hey! Cause he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry, so he tried to trick us. Please wait! There's no way that is possible. I know. No, I get why she'd think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? This doesn't mean we've made up or anything. I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Huh? Huh? So... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who gets caught off. Sorry. Ooh. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. Nasty pig barf! I see. Fuyuhiko's not, not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Kyoko, there's no way she would have ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Gross. Hey, what are you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Monokuma. There's no way he's not going to do anything while well. he's watching us like this, right? Boring. How much longer are you guys gonna be bummed out? I came all the way here because you said it was gonna be because you said it was a party. Yay! Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start the next song. Roger! Thanks for waiting! Let's go right ahead to the next song! Huh? There's still more. <laughs> now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. Uh. Stop it! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's everyone doing here? Whoa, Monami? Jeez! Don't interfere. And I was enjoying such a fun party too. What? I wasn't invited to the party. Obviously not. You'd ruin the party if you were here. What? Ah! But seriously, now's not the time. Now's not the time to enjoy a fun party. Why? <laughs> Akane. Akane is... Emergency! Akane is dueling Monokuma. What? She would eventually do that. What did you say? <laughs> At this point, Akane, Akane is going to be in danger. Please do something to save her. It looks like my bad feeling was correct. I'm the one who was the fool. It was my mistake not to keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. This is this failure will haunt me for the rest of my life. Or my name isn't Nekumaru Nidai. Um. Now is not the time for regrets. Let us make haste. He could finally return to us. The thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it. I would never allow it. Hey, Monami, where's Akane and Monokuma? Um... They're at the beach where we first arrived at the island. Please hurry. If you don't, Akane is going to get killed. You don't have to tell me. I'm going full speed ahead. 
we should hurry too. Nekumaru bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs could take him and we followed him soon after. I should hurry too. Hey everyone. Well, everyone left. Thanks, thanks everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half-baked comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be Salt Seeping Into My Broken Heart. I don't really get it, but you look pretty bummed out. Come on. You shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry to the beach already. She's right. I should hurry too. Hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Calm down. Huh? Well? It's true, we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... Hey. It's for the sake of saving Akane too. We don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, I got it. I'm okay. Yep. Let's go. After running there at a full sprint, by the time I got to the beach and struggled to regain my breath, I saw a shocking scene unfold before me. like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she serious about not even grazing it? Akane is just fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. It's, if it's designed for combat, it's probably capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I've ever seen. And she says she can't even graze him with her attacks? Is that even possible? <laughs> However, because it's possible, that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she's ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it as fuel to boaster or hope jeez he he's already ex accepting her death like he thinks that she died or no he's like she should just die so we can use that to boost our hope jeez right like Fuyuhiko did you see don't fuck with me damn it i never want to feel that feeling ever again if I have to feel that way again, I'll make sure I stop it, even if it costs me my life. <gasps> no, you can't. You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. <sighs> it's just a little life Peko gave me. It's not precious anymore. <clears throat> That's all the more reason you need to take care of it. Huh? Don't stop me! You guys stay back, I'll take it from here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework! Make sure you sear it into your eyes! Now then, it looks like everyone's here, so I might as well finish this! Didn't I say I won't allow any rule violations against me? This is what happens when you break the rules! Disappear! Oh. <gasps> Nekomaru! The world, sh the world shook and turned stark white. As if the surrounding scenery and every sound was blown away by the impact. It was all completely white. And within that white, I heard a voice. Uh, uh, Nekomaru! Ne Nekomaru! Why did you s save? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Supporting their athletes is a manager's duty. However, 
What a shame for someone like Nekomaru Nidai to... It was just a little shot from a bazooka. I really am the worst. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself! Nekomaru! Akane... The time I've spent with you... It... It wasn't so bad. Don't... Die... Akane... Bro... We're not gonna even have a... We're not gonna have a trial... For this, cause... It was Monokuma... Who did it. No! No! Nekomaru! Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Ah! Nekomaru died. Why did she have to fight Monokuma? That's... Instead of the role violator Akane. What the hell? What a major failure. I ended I ended up killing Nekomaru, who had nothing to do with this. Hold on. It's faint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet. Then you gotta hurry and treat him. You... Monokuma, you could do something about this, right? Save Nekomaru like you saved me. Hey, hey! That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well? Then let's just say we're even. In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say Nekumaru was the sacrifice. Yeah so, isn't it okay to say we're even? Hey. You're not gonna save him? Unbelievable. Guess I have no choice. It's annoying, but it'd be boring if he died a meaningless death. So... For today only, I'll activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. A siren started ringing out of nowhere. And it, and it gradually came closer and closer. Oh, uh, this again? Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! He even recycled the same line again. Bruh. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! And after he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Ikumaru vanished from her sight. What the heck? Why did this happen? What's going on? He's gonna be alright, right? Nekumaru's gonna be saved, right? Of course, he's obviously gonna be saved. But Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I cannot believe Nekumaru's gone now. No! I can't stand this anymore. Hey! Can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help, you know. All this talk about everyone getting along, we were just fooling ourselves. <laughs> we were just pretending we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will be... will just be killed. One after another. It won't be a mystery when we're, you're eventually betrayed. That's why I'm never gonna rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Are you saying it is a meaningless? It is meaningless for us to even work together. Shut up! If it really did have meaning, Nekomaru wouldn't have ended up like that. <laughs> he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. You. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try to act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey. So you, can you please not involve me? I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Hyoko blaming Akane would not solve anything. <laughs> we don't have to worry about Coach Nekumaru. Huh? <laughs> I mean, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and you're not even worried about him. Oh. Akane, you're not worried about Nekumaru? Damn it! There's no need to worry about worrying. 
I know Coach Nekumaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There's no doubt. Nekumaru is definitely going to come back. Damn it. So when that, when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. Kane. As we all returned to our cottages, we were, we were silent. If we opened our mouths, only words of worry would come out. We all knew that. When we saw Nekumaru's tragedy happen right in front of us, once again we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well that's just wish that's just wishful thinking. On this island without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare we're trapped in. When you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside it. And thus the nightmare continues. I really want to just like go past all of this. What is this? Story 58? A long time ago, there was a village that was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus, the Tengus apparently did as they pleased, such as stealing food and kidnapping women. But is it really the Tengus, Tengus' fault? Isn't it actually the humans' fault for ruining nature by destroying the mountains where the Tenguses live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. No, everyone, it is time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters roam free. Bring it on! Monokuma's Hyper Fables, the end. No one's gonna scare me this time? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! Good morning, everyone! Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day! Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today! As usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept at all. I really wanted to see somebody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this anxious feeling with someone. I just couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Yo! Oh, it's you, Hajime. Huh. Even in such an abnormal situation, people still get hungry. Damn it. Nakumaro, what that person mean by his final firework? That line's more suited to a Yakuza anyway. Nakumaro must have wanted to protect Akane at all costs. Just like how Pekko wanted to protect you. You don't say another word. Sorry. Just go on ahead to the restaurant. I'll come later. As I was walking to the restaurant, unintentionally I felt my feet come to a swift halt. <laughs> From inside the restaurant I heard the sound of a girl crying. Is someone crying inside? Mikan or is it Hyoko? It's probably a Kane. While peeking into the restaurant, I slowly stepped inside. Huh? Akane, you're the one who's crying? I'm scared. What's gonna happen to us? What happened? Could she be in shock about what happened to Nekumaru? But yesterday she was acting braver. Akane's- Whoa, did I click on the stairs? My bad. What happened, Akane? It's not like you to cry. Get a grip of yourself. <laughs> I do know. I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, Nekumaru got killed. You know. What are you saying? It's not like Nekumaru is dead yet. I'm scared. I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Let me go back home. She must be so shocked that Nekumaru sacrificed himself for her. No, there's no way that explains they changed this sudden and drastic. Nagito. Hey, what happened to Akane? Isn't she acting kind of weird? I see. Hajime, be careful. That's probably not the real Fuyuhiko. Huh? I know. The real Fuyuhiko is probably dead. 
That's that's probably Fuyuhiko's clone. What are you saying? Hey. Also, I heard from Monokuma that Nekumaru couldn't be saved. It's unfortunate, but a transfer student is apparently going to come as a replacement. <laughs> so let's all give that person a warm welcome. Are you messing around? It's the truth. I'm not messing around. I always speak the truth. Right? In order to prove it, I'll explain it specially to you. Listen carefully. Hajime, I've finally discovered who the traitor is. <laughs> you know, the true identity of World Ender. The traitor who was hiding among us is... There's no mistake. Byakia. How, how is it? How's that my boy? That's right, Byakia is al alive. He's, he's been weird from the start, but isn't he acting much weirder than usual? What is- how? Byaki is alive? Hyoko's here? Hey! It's definitely best if we keep Nagito tied up. No, not just tied up. So. I won't be satisfied until I peel the skin off his face and expose the meat so we can't identify him anymore. That doesn't sound very gentle. Did he do something to you? <laughs> That idiot, he lied to me about my hero being alive and what he said he saw her at the movie theater. Why is he telling such a pointless lie? <laughs> I don't know, I hate being lied to. Jeez. I won't be satisfied until all his joints are bent at awkward angles. It'd probably be a weird waste of time to find out the reason for each little thing Nagito does, but I don't get this at all. Why did he have such why do he have to tell such an outrageous lie? Pardon me, everyone, but do you have to happen to, to have some time to spare? Hello, my name is Ibuki Miyoda. You may be rude of me, but I would like to say my greetings first thing in the morning. Good morning, I look forward to working with you all today. Ibuki? Yes, I am Ibuki Miyoda. Aren't you acting strange too? Wait! Be careful, Ibuki. Hajime is dangerous, he wants to kill you and eat you. What is happening? What are you saying? Yes. Mr. Hajime, I am not tasty. Please do not eat me. He's obviously lying. I see, so it was it was a lie. It's the truth. It's not a lie. I never tell lies. Understood. I see, so it is not a lie. It may be necessary for me to beg for my life after all. What the heck is this? Akane, Nagito, Ibuki, they're all acting strange. What's going on? Um... Did they go crazy or something? It wouldn't be strange to go crazy in a situation like this. You got it wrong! That's not it. Yes! Ibuki has an extremely high fever. That's probably the cause. That's weird. Before you start talking, I want you to tell me something. Who are you? Why? Why have you forgotten about me? I am Mikan Sumiki. <laughs> anyway, please try touching her forehead. If you do, you'll see what I mean. My hand to her forehead? Ibuki, just a second. Understood. Ex in exchange, please spare my life. I softly placed my hand onto Ibuki's forehead while she continued to spout gibberish. She's hot? What is this? Th this heat is abnormal. Yes. That's right, she has a terribly high fever. And the then could the others? Connie, let me feel your forehead too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so weak. I placed my forehead onto Akane's forehead while she groaned and kept sobbing. That must be it. She has a high fever. There's no way that's a normal human. That's a normal human body temperature. I can tell you too. <laughs> I don't have a fever. I feel extremely great today. I placed my hand on his forehead. Once again, I got the same result. All three of them have fevers? And the reason those guys are saying such wacky stuff is... Emergency! Emergency! Monokuma, for him to appear right now, does that mean this is... Just a minute. Oh, there. Can you wait just a second for the explanation? The others are on the way, too. And just as Monokuma said, I heard the sound of pounding footsteps. Everyone who gathered all had confused expressions plastered on their faces. What's going on? Now what? Hey, hey. I heard it from Monokuma. Looks like something strange is going on again. Maybe. 
Did something happen to you guys? Now then. Looks like everyone's here. Now then, let's start with the explanation. Wait. Anakuma, you're pulling a prank again, aren't you? And what happened to Nekumaru? Hurry up and return him first, you robber bear. Hmm? Nekumaru, what are you... Are you talking about the boy who turns into a woman when he gets splashed with water? You stupid brother! Nekumaru doesn't have a weird ability like that. Oh. Jeez! Shut up! I don't even know what's been done to me, but I feel a mysterious like energy. Well now. Let's go back to the topic at hand. Oh. Well done. I'm pretty sure you guys have already noticed since you're all so quick witted. So it's just as I thought. The true identity of this high fever is That's right! This is the new motive that I given that I've given you. It's the despair disease. Hmm? What the Despair disease? Actually. You know, there are extremely tiny insect insects that can't be seen with the naked eye living on the island. It's true. It's not like I added them recently, I just never told you about them. Hmm. Anyway, the endemic dis disease spread by these insects is called the despair disease. <laughs> despair disease? I never heard of such a thing. Well? Then let me tell you about it. As the name suggests, the despair disease is a really annoying disease where you get a high fever along with various symptoms that are full of despair. Those symptoms are different based on the person. For instance, Nagito is afflicted by the liar disease. Akane has the coward disease. Ibuki has the gullible disease, I guess. What? They just had to get symptoms that are the opposite of their normal personalities except for Nagito? Hey, um... It's not like you- it's not like all of you guys are down with the sickness yet. But be careful. Sometimes the despair disease can get passed from person to person, just like a cold. Huh? You mean it is contagious? Bro, this is totally a Mekon death, like... She has like a billion red, red flags now. <laughs> Don't put your guard down just yet, just because you don't have the disease. It'd be awful if everyone gets sick. Hey, 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 hey! What's wrong, Miss Sonia? It'd be terrible if you got if you caught the lowly disease of the common folks. <gasps> That's right, let's run away. I don't want to catch a weird disease. Why? Why is that a motive? Are you saying that a killing will occur soon after everyone falls into a crazy state? Phew. Isn't this quite a novel idea? I can't wait! I can't wait! A killing that occurs while everyone has a completely different personality. Think of all the murder tricks. Is there any way to treat it? Why? Why is there a need to treat it? I mean, the despair disease isn't supposed to make you suffer. <laughs> it's a disease that cures your soft hearts. Your soft hearts towards killing. And with this, you can finally take a plunge and commit murder. Are you... You better stop talking about this. <laughs> it's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm always bothering you. All right. I've decided as an apology, I'm going to commit murder. Are there any charcoal brisket briquettes out there? Um. I'm pretty sure I found some at the supermarket. Stop it, Akane, Nagito, Ibuki. You guys stay put. Hey. You're wrong. I'm not Nagito. To tell you the truth, Nagito Komeda is a fake name. I'm sorry I kept it a secret until now. Understood. Oh, I see. What the? She's believing him again. So serious. Amazing. Man, whatever. I feel so great today. This despair disease is awesome. <laughs> despair, 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 despair. It's amazing. You all should get it too. We're all done for. There's no such thing as hope. We all, ha we all have to die from this despair disease. <laughs> That's the only way. Whoa! He collapsed. <laughs> My guitar. Now that I've given you a new motive, how will things develop? Will the killing start after everyone gets the despair disease or even before that? Trails! 
kills, chills, kills! I'm so excited about it, I'm just gonna stand around naked. Bring it on! Just kidding, I'm always naked. Hey. The Gamaru's incident just happened and now this? Where did that peaceful mood that lasted till yesterday go? My kid toes foaming at the, at the mouth. She's right, I've never seen foam that color before. Impossible! It's an ephemerality rare, rare color, normally only found in the depths of the netherworld sea. In this case, the color doesn't matter, so let's hurry him over to the hospital. Got it, I'll help him out. Please wait. What should we do about Akane and Ibuki? Anyway. We're definitely going to bring them too. We don't know what they'll do if we leave them alone. Hey, can you walk? Yes. Allow me to confirm. I just have to alternate the movements of my left and right leg, right? <laughs> Hold on, I'll walk, so don't leave me. Then let's go. With the disease in tow and Nagito, whose condition was clearly worsening, we, clearly, we rushed over to the hospital, but this kind of motive is impossible. An actual despair disease? And there's a possibility that it might be passed along? What the heck? What should I do? I would go make the infected change their clothes, and then I'll have them sleep in the patient rooms. Understood. So I just have to change my clothes, correct? <laughs> I'm scared of changing. For now. Anyway, everyone else, please wait here. As she supported all three of them with her with her shoulders, Mikan disappeared into the depths of the hospital. Damn it! I never expected us to get sick. What's going to happen? Let me tell you this. I would not mind if Nagito retired permanently. Maybe. Is Mikan gonna personally change their clothes? What's wrong with that? Well. Does that include Nagito too? Isn't that a little bad? <laughs> There's no need to panic. Even I attend to the needs of my four dark divas of destruction. Hey, hey, hey! Don't lump hamsters and teenage boys together. Um. Hey, th is this stupid conversation going to last much longer? Hey! Shouldn't we seriously be thinking about what we need to do from now on and stuff? What we need to do from now on? Looks like things are getting pretty strange. Even so. But now, for time for us to do our best. We need to stay firm until Nekomaru comes back. Don't overwork yourself too much, though. Your wound hasn't fully healed yet. Huh. I can't. I can't slack off now. Jeez. That, that disease sure looks dangerous, Nagito. Akane and Ibuki aren't acting normal. If it spreads to anyone else, a killing is bound to happen. Let me tell you this. Based on their observed behavior, I cannot deny that. But those guys aren't being considerate. I want them to at least have the decency to consider committing suicide before they start bothering us. That is. Yuhioko. <laughs> I know it can't be that easy. So it's important to make sure we don't end up catching the disease. Make sure. What do you mean? Which cockroach said that? Why don't you get it? We need to isolate them from us so they won't be spreading the disease. Isolate? You! If you can't cure it, the only option is to stop it from spreading. Even a preschooler knows that. But still, isn't isolating them a bit too harsh? Hey, if everyone catches the despair disease, we won't be able to do anything about it anymore, you know? This is bad. You're right. There's no way we should allow it to spread. Hold on a second. Isolation, you mean we need to quarantine them inside the hospital, right? Chiaki, don't tell me you also agree with this. That's wrong. It's to prevent it's to prevent a killing. As long as that disease is Monokuma's motive, we just need to ignore it. A killing will happen again. To prevent that, we also have to pre prevent the disease from spreading. That's why we need to quarantine them. Like even if we quarantine them, who's gonna take care of them? <laughs> Mikan's gonna stay here anyway. She's been touching the infected all over, so it's possible she already caught the disease. But there's no way we can leave her all by herself. Hey! And why don't you stay too? Huh? Huh? 
Now that I think about it, you touched them when you took their temperature, right? Oh. So I'll leave it. I'll leave the rest to you. Contact me if anything happens. Contact you? How are we supposed to do that? Jeez. All right. We need to think of a way to communicate. If we keep meeting in person, we could catch the disease. Hey you! So I'll let you handle that, Kazuchi. Ah. Uh. Yeah, got it. Fine. Fret not, we are not going to abandon you. I shall station myself nearby in case anything happens. Nearby. There is a motel on this island. Until this matter is resolved, we shall stay the night there. Aww. What? Do we really have to stay at such a dirty place? Silence. What are we supposed to do if we can't immediately get here if something happens? Also, if that disease is airborne, the hotel on the first island might already be unsafe. This is the Tanaka Empire! We must be vigilant about protection. I have those who I must protect. You. They're just hamsters, dude. I'll destroy you! This is an unkind thing to say, you fiend. How dare you call my four dark divas of destruction hamsters. Jeez. Fine, I'll just stay at the motel. <laughs> Even if it's a quarantine, we're still going to be on the same island. Just call us if you need anything. What are you frustrated for? I don't like this. This is obviously a trap. Monokuma's goal is to separate us as a group. Is it really okay for us to f fall for that? So... It's not like we've stopped being friends. I just don't want a killing to happen ever again. We can't prevent that if everyone got sick, you know? You know, right? Yeah, that's right, man. There's no way we're gonna lose together, you know? That's right! Because if that happens, then Monokuma gets what he wants. Hey Hyoko, what did you say to me earlier? Something about me being the first one to get cut off. And? What's wrong with that? Huh. This must be that moment. It's not like Mikan and Hajime are enough people. You. Are you saying you're gonna stay here too? Huh, you too? <laughs> this life of mine is a spare anyway. <laughs> Fine, then do whatever you want. Hey Fuyuhiko, are you sure? You might be endangering yourself, you know. Jeez. Don't make me repeat myself. Hey, hey! You really okay with this? Then I'm gonna leave the rest to you too. <laughs> Whatever happening, whatever's happening over here, just leave it to us. We'll, we'll make sure to keep the disease from spreading. Come on, shouldn't you guys head over to the motel before you catch the disease? I am sorry! We are forcing this upon you like this. No, what everyone's saying is true, so it's okay. Thanks. Thank you, both of you. I won't let your feelings go to waste. We'll make sure to find out the mystery of the despair disease while you're out here. I think. Probably. I'd really prefer it if she had a more confident sounding catchphrase. Um. Now then, I shall excuse myself. I am counting on you. <laughs> and I'll make sure to figure out some way to communicate later. Bye! Do your best to try to stay alive. And just like that, the others left, leaving me and Fuyuhiko at the hospital. I never expected it would turn out like this. Jeez. It's not like it's their fault, it's that Monokuma's got fault. I can't believe he'd actually arrange something as irritating as a disease. Uh, hello. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> they finally finished changing, everyone's resting in their rooms. Uh, uh, Why is it just you two? Huh? You know. I know, they must have left to get fruits to bring back later. Everyone is so kind, I'm glad everyone is so thoughtful toward their friends. Well, well like I said, we're all equals when we're sick. Let's all work together and do our very best. Hajime, I'm sorry, but I'll let you handle the explanation. That's quite the burden I have to hear. I bear. And so we decided to split into two groups. In the hospital, there are three people who caught the Monokuma's disease. Kane, Nagito, and Ibuki. There's also Mikan, who's nursing them back to health. As the safeguard for Yuhiko and myself all together, six people are staying at the hospital. Chiaki, Gundam, Kazuchi, Sonia, and Hyoko are staying at the motel on the same island. As for Nekomaru, he's not back yet, but anyway, we until we do something about the, the, this despair disease, current situation isn't going to change, but we have no clue what we need to do. Seriously, what should we do? Whoa. 
Huh? I suddenly woke up. And if I woke up, that means I fell asleep without realizing. Earlier, I discussed it with Fuyuhiko and we decided we'd take turns resting. That's right. That's why I came to the on-call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well the past few days, so a sudden drowsiness overtook me. And I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, it's not just heavy. It feels soft. Someone soft. Oh, okay. I can't breathe. Since when was his hair that spiky? You see that? It's like a sword. I got it. He, oh my gosh. Hachime's gonna die! <laughs> Hachime, are you okay? Your complexion is a bluish purple shade. It might be a severe cyanotic reaction. Hachime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mikan finally got off me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow, that was enough to get my consciousness back to, uh, drift back to reality. Ugh. Hajime! You've regained consciousness. I'm so glad. I thought you died. Me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I thought about taking a rest in, in the on-call room, but you were already asleep, so... That doesn't mean you could climb on top of me. <laughs> and I'll be on the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Hey, hey! What are you guys? <laughs> Whoa! I didn't do anything. <laughs> what in the world? What are you guys doing? For your ego? No, this is. I really hope you didn't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me. Are you guys sleeping together? <laughs> no. Bastard! You dirty, rotten person! You guys are high school students. Seriously, you've got this all wrong. Damn it! We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peeked inside his room earlier, it looked like he wasn't breathing. <laughs> this is bad. Now it's not the time for us to rest. Yukon vigorously leaped out of the bed and ran out of the ran out of the on-call room. Damn it! Hajime, now it's not the time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. Fuyuhiko and I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. Nagito! <laughs> Nagito, please get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's de de desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Don't tell me! There's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Hey, fidget, fidget! He's totally waiting for it. Damn it! This looks really bad. Despite Mikan's desperate cries, I didn't see Nagito react at all. Mikan, is Nagito alright? Well. It looks like his breathing has returned. Really? <laughs> but still, his condition is unpredictable. And that's putting that lightly. How light is that? Is it sweet potato soft? Well... If so, that's pretty light. Uh, uh, yeah. Please don't interfere. Hey. Isn't Nagito's mouth moving? You're right. He might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan softly tilted her ear toward Nagito's lips. What did he say? Apparently, his condition has improved and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Monokuma said that Nagito has the liar disease, he probably means the opposite and actually feels really bad. Like... But what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to have a class trial, right? Ah! Don't talk like that. Yes! Nagito is never going to die. I will save him by any means necessary. I see. Got it. Then I leave Nagito's life to you. 
From her usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to pretending to Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right! Then follow me. While you're resting, the goods arrived. I gotta show them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous. Oh, like like uh, like a phone. Anyway, let's go to the lobby. Nagito, are you? We can't leave Mikan alone. We can't. Hmm, that's he's all better. There's a lot of chairs and desks here. I guess it's a, some sort of conference room. Dude, he's all better. Hey, bastard! Whoa! What'd you come here for? The goods were delivered to the lobby, remember? What? Hold on. I thought he was all good. <laughs> he's all good. Hey, Fuyuhiko, what did you mean when you said goods? Damn right! Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk? It's Fuyuhiko- talking about this, right? It looks like a monitor and a camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing, the blue light is blinking. Does something happen when it this blinks? Seeing is believing as they say, try pressing the button below that light. I just had to press the button. I did what Fuyuhiko said and pressed the button. What's up? He <laughs> loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kasuji, then this is... Huh. That's right. That's that's the way to communicate he, he was talking about. All right. Looks like it's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about it? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady looking... Street booths? That's where I found this. It's a surveillance camera for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? I get it. It's true, we don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right! So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other with this from now on, okay? This was only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Huh. Kasichi left this while you were resting. Damn right! The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. Anything the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So he prepared two of these sets and swapped each, other, each of the cameras. I see, by swapping the camera, says the monitor will display what's on my camera. And vice versa. Apparently, he also modified it a little. He widened this, its narrow communication range just uh, beyond just household use. Even so. He still had a limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. That we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. <laughs> You didn't notice he was contacting you just now from the music venue near the motel. From there, the signal reaches the hospital of no problems. But they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need it to? Damn right! I thought the same team, thing, so we arranged times for us to contact to each other. It's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monokuma's morning announcement. Morning and evening announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning, so don't sleep in. He's well prepared, as expected of the heir of an enormous organization. Huh? What is it? Nothing. Oh. Time to sleep. Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> Are you planning to use the on-call room again with a certain someone? Like I said, it's not what it looked like. You 
guys. Aren't you misunderstanding? What are you thinking? A hospital is a facility for, for sick people, so it's not for lodgings or romantic tries, you know? You too? What are you talking about? I don't like this. Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen out of the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Unbelievable. Take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on here, right? A notice on a bulletin board? A bulletin board notice. Is he talking about this? Hospital precautions. Eating, eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. If patients do not need to be accompanied, Accompanied overnight Overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden In other words It's like the notice you often see inside the hospital You can't stay overnight here. What are you saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied hmm. Are you talking about not yet, right? I'll just I'll, I'll allow just one person to accompany him the rest of you need to hurry up and get out of here. Jeez. Hospital precautions. He should have said so soon. Only one person can stay the night, and there's no way we can make Mikan leave. Jeez. I guess You're we have pathetic. no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. You're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. Darn. Mikan is literally by herself. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. Bro, no! So Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight. I'm a little worried. No, the ones who are stuck in a hospital should be worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright, when I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. Dude, no! I feel bad leaving Mikan alone. Not after that scene, bro. I guess for now I should try to get some sleep. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Monokuma appears! Good evening, it's time for Monokuma's cookie class. Today we're gonna learn to make Tainki. The first thing you need, you'll need is a time machine. You will travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Sejiro Kanbe. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold out all that well. It's part that you gently cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed himself when you treat him. From there, he gets serious and insists that he's trying to make his pastries the fish shape because they'll sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of fish. As a final touch, name these pastries the Taikis. Okay, with this, you finish making Taiki. Brought to you by Monokuma! Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. I'm worried about me, Connor, and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. The moment I got out of bed, I immediately left my cottage and headed over to the hospital. Over here. Cool. Yo. You came early today? You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's a little time before we need to make contact. Wanna go to Nagito's room and catch, check up on him? Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry, why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. I'm worried about Mikan. She was all alone. I mean, with the other three, but still. Literally that... Dumb rule, what do you made us like leave her? Oh, he still doesn't look good. Mikan! You're you're okay. That's good. Mikan, how's Nikito's do how's Nikito doing? Same as usual. No, actually he might be worse than yesterday. This is bad! Are you serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical conditions sometime today. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm I'm his nurse, I would never let Nagito die. Yes. 
ever. I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Hajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, I got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left Nagito's room. Whoa, she's... Oh, because she's not in critical condition. Yes. Excuse me, you don't look so well. Did something happen? It's nothing, I'm fine. Understood. I understand, you are fine. Then I'm not going to worry. It wouldn't be strange if Ibuki got worse like Nagito, huh? <laughs> hey, Akane, what happened? They're making a scary face. I'm sorry, it's all because I'm so weak. Was I making a scary face? Your worry is showing up on your face, you person. <laughs> You're just gonna keep scaring her. Let's go already. Income to take no light is blinking. Now then. Looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. I pressed the button underneath the blinking light and the monitor instantly lit up. Looks like the camera and monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. What's up? Hello, how is it? Can you see my handsome face? I can, yeah, I can see you loud and clear. <laughs> We're good on our end, too. I can totally see your faces. It might be best to, if I tell the others about Nagito's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Nope, we're all here except for Hiyoko. What happened to Hiyoko? <laughs> it seems we all look like aberrant enemies in the eyes of that cow. Um. She has locked herself in her room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the despair disease has been cleared. She's even being cautious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So how about you? How are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagito's actually in serious danger. You. I already know, he's, a, he's seriously dangerous. Well. No, not that. He's in seriously... He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? However... But he's going to be okay, right? Nagito is going to get better? Hey, hey! First Nakamura, then Nagito? That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. Yes. You really can't say? That's impossible. Monami, why are you on that side? Um... Because it'd be dangerous if I got close to the hospital, since I don't even know what's going on there. Why does a stupid stuffed animal need to be cautious about a disease? Please don't discriminate. The despair disease is horrible. It's a dangerous disease that can even destroy this island. So until we, we figure out how to deal with it, I will be on this side. Before I could respond to Monami, Fuyuhiko had cut them the connection. Don't fuck with me! She's making me mad. I gotta go outside to cool off. Fuyuhiko practically spat those words before he went outside. Anyway, all we can do is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we could do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in the hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyuhiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. Like, it's nighttime, right? We never saw Mikan after this. Or after we left her in the morning. It's nighttime. Ahem! Hope speaks to the executive committee has an announcement to make. Okay. It is now 10 p.m. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean chip. Rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Damn it! It feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over, and now it's nighttime already. Wow. Fourth wall. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez. We Good should go back night. to our cottages when that's done. It's annoying to keep going back and forth, though. But before we go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? 
Go for it. Leave this tran transmission thing to me. Jeez. Dude, I was literally just gonna like save the game after we go to sleep and then I can just like take a shower or something, but hold on. They're not gonna have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. You telling me I have to go alone? Oh my gosh. Ibuki, what are you doing here? You need to be yes. resting. To tell you the truth, I've been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time, so I was hoping I could help you with, you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a huge help if you got better soon. Understood. That's kind of scary. I hope she gets better soon. What is with this music? Ha! All right, now I can tell hopefully you're better. Hey, Mikan, hi. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him for the whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is tor turned towards me as she's focused, focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Looks like you finally noticed. Please don't surprise me, I almost got wet. Um. Did you come by to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um. I hope I'm not mistaken, that'd be really embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to, caring, to taking care of Nagita. I hope she understood what I said. <laughs> but she's working so hard, it'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt, so I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Alright, so she's okay. Yo! How's Nagito doing? How's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she's had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. As a, I said, as, a, as I expected, we wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new to report. They're apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both, so on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez. You're oh, pathetic. Well. Let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. My worries have been piled so high that one sight just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. And not just that. First thing in the morning, I need to go to the hospital again. I keep telling myself that as I sighed one last time. And I slowly close my eyes. Out of the blue, a hazy scene begins to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time hazily. Like watercolor paints suspended in water, slowly, hazily. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope's Peak Academy. But was he that exceptional? There are noises. I'm always staring out the window, pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even if I don't want to listen, the noises leap into my ears. Huh? You don't know? You know what? Apparently you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I want to cover my ears. I want to run. To the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Well, I never knew that, was, that way it was possible, so he's the same too? Obviously. 
I mean, he doesn't have any special talents that Hope's Peak Academy would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Well, admiring the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just... I just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are they talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? So either Nagito's his class- or yeah, either Nagito's his classmate, or he's also hey, like hey. an extremely lucky student. I really don't want to go through this at all, bro. See you later, Monokuma. <laughs>